If you love the Crossway ESV Legacy, this video is for you. In this video, we're gonna compare three different types of ESV Legacy Editions from Crossway. Stay tuned. So we might as well start where it began, with Lego. This edition is the 2014 printing from Lego, which is an Italian company, and it's highly sought after text block because of the premium paper and the excellent printing. Now the Lego version of the Legacy had a darker printing than you'll see in these uh, 28 GSM editions from Youngblood. Now these all have the same pagination. So page 663 is the same on the Lego edition from 2014 as it is the green goatskin edition from Youngblood and the Horween edition. They're all gonna have the same pagination. You can definitely see the Lego printing is darker than the Youngblood printing. It's a stark, dark, crisp printing. I think Lego probably does it a little bit better than Youngblood. Lego also uses a 36 GSM paper here where Youngblood uses a 28 GSM Indopaque paper. So it's quite obvious that this True Tone edition of the Lego Legacy is a highly sought after rebind candidate if you love the Legacy. But if you don't want to rebind, you have two options currently. You have the goat skin edition from Youngblood as well as the Horween leather edition from Youngblood. So these two leathers are so vastly different. Uh, you have the grainier goat skin on the right. Uh, this one is the green goat skin, which I love. This natural grain goat skin that Youngblood uses is one of my favorite. Uh, it has a beautiful slick calf skin liner where you have the, the slicker Horween leather and a more grainy calf skin liner on the Horween edition. Now the goat skin cover is going to look the same essentially today as it did when it was produced three or four years ago, uh, and that's its purpose. It's been used a lot, but it's gonna look virtually the same. The cover's gonna look the same, and if you take care of it, it will look and hold together very well for decades, decades to come. The Horween leather is gonna be very different in that it changes over time. I've already put this cover through a break-in cycle, so it's way more floppy than it was meant straight out of the box, uh, but it changes over time. That's kind of the big pro and maybe the big con with Horween leather is that if it's for you, you'll love it and you'll appreciate how it wears, how it breaks in like a baseball glove, like a new pair of boots would break in with use and they get more comfortable, more enjoyable to use over time. Where the goat skin, essentially it is at its peak, um, enjoyment the day you get it. Now price may play into that. The goatskin editions are gonna be significantly cheaper than the Horween leather editions. So if you had to stack them one to the other, uh, you have obviously the True Tone edition. This one typically sells for between 120 and 130. I know that sounds pretty crazy for a True Tone, but since this is out of print, you might get lucky and find one cheaper, but typically they sell between 120 and 130 all the way up to 200 for a True Tone Lego Legacy. Then you get to the Goat Skin Edition. You know, usually gonna be around 150, okay? So, uh, you know, they retail for 250. They rarely sell that high, maybe between 150 and 170. And then you get to the Horween Edition. The Horween Edition retails at 330. You can buy them on sale uh, through Crossway, but by far the most expensive route is gonna be purchasing a Lego text block and rebinding it for two or $300. So you're looking at already 120 to $30 plus an additional two or $300 for the rebind. So if you really want a premium legacy, your best bet is gonna to be to get a Lego legacy and rebind it with one of the many amazing rebinders. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a quick video. Uh, I didn't really show the text block comparison between the two Youngblood editions because they are the exact same. Like I do with every video, I'm giving away a Bible this video as well. So if you are this person, you left a comment on a recent video, thank you for that. You want a Bible? Shoot me an email and I'll get a Bible on its way to you. Thank you all for watching. And if you got anything out of this video, 
leave a thumbs up or two thumbs down, whatever you prefer. And consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that notification bell if you feel so inclined. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care. God bless.